Oh, hello. This, thank you for watching this video. It's just explaining again um, in more detail about the power of this symbiotic partnership between planting the vertebra grass around the edge of trees. Uh, we've got a couple examples with the um, moringa tree and with the um, palm oil tree, industrial palm oil tree. So we've had an experience and our clients experience many powerful, powerful uh, benefits, multiple benefits. And you'll see here, this is an example of a moringa tree. Now, we know the moringa tree is one of the most powerful uh, nutrient packed trees in the world. It's got about 92 powerful nutrients. Um, it's got about 46, as I know, uh, any, bio, uh, any, uh, any oxidants. Uh, it's one of the true, um, you know, multi miracle trees of the world. Now, what a powerful synergy or what we call complementary planting, symbiotic partnership, symbiotic relationship with the miracle tree and the miracle grass. So by planting it around, now these trees are only about two and a half years old. The moringa tree, the powerful, it's the it's basically the um, you know, the the the, the nutrient dense moringa tree. It grows three to four times faster. Now we've been growing moringa now for over um uh, 36 years one one of the key trees that we grow complementary for our micro formulas and it's just a powerful chicken feed and fish food uh, the leaf of the moringa tree but it is in combination with the super grass which we can't uh, the moringa tree is too little in biomass production uh, to to create massive chicken farms and fish farms which we have got what we have done is the nutrient in the leaf of the vertebra with root systems three to six to eight meters deep. And the, the leaf, the biomass of the leaf is so productive. See this tree I'm grabbing here now? This is about a one and a half year old tree. It must be about 30 foot high. You can see that, that the, 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 the knuckles or the size of that tree trunk. But due to the, this is called the symbiotic planting. That's the the, the vertebra that brings moisture. It, it brings uh, from, it's an insurance from floods and droughts. This is how big it can grow. This is the, the, uh, the uh, this is the um, Chrysopogon Z90, the bamboo grass. And what we're sharing here is, look at the bamboo grass growing these knuckles and these bulbs at the end of each knuckle. That's about a year old, this big, huge, mega vertebra growing bamboo on top of bamboo on top of bamboo look at the roots the air roots and when they fall down when they when they lay down on the ground they get heavy then the roots take root because the this vertebra species the chrysopogon does the flower there's the flower it's sterile so it's invasive non-invasive so in other words it, it, it does not grow with the with the with the seed it, it's sterile so this is a powerful growth. So the only way it expands is when the bamboo falls over because of the weight. And if it lands on the ground, then the roots grow from the knuckles. And you can see by the mature bamboo pieces. So we call that flower the, the king of all flowers. This is the most beautiful miracle grass. Now, the same principle is we're showing you here with this, the, the, the moringa tree, the future. This is the future in nutrition. It's the medicine tree. It's the it's the um, uh, it's it's the what we call it the the chem the 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 the, the multi mineral. You know, you take multi minerals. This is the multi mineral mineral tree. Again, imagine having over ninety two uh, nutrients and over forty six antioxidants. It is a super tree. But we're sharing that because the same principle with this super grass, the miracle grass, the the nail of the earth. Um, the wonder grass, it helps. It helps any tree. The palm oil tree, the the the, the, the Musang King durian tree, any tree, any shrub. This is the most powerful complementary. Um, see a, a powerful complementary bonus. See what I'm showing you here with the bamboo shoots. Of, of this big one that we cut under the the tree. One of the branch, one of the bamboo uh, was moved, uh, this, uh, bent over on the ground, and it took root. And all these clusters, this ring of of moringa there, 
I, I, I sorry, the, 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 of the vertebra grass, is due to the bamboo piece. Now, this is a powerful way of actually expanding in drought. The powerful thing about this grass is if you've got a young tree, either a super moringa tree or any tree, doesn't matter what type of tree, fruit tree or, or traditional tree, you're going to have success of it growing in extreme weather. This is what we call nature's security policy. It's, it's, it's for the purpose of flooding. It brings up the water and, and drains the swamp. In, 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 in drought, it brings the water from the ground up into the up into the surface area due to the root system, and when it rains, the water goes run straight down multiple meters of this thick, half a meter wide um, base of these roots going through the 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 the, the, the uh, soil, and it bl- and it creates a big blotting, a big sponge. So it's extreme weather. It helps from floods to droughts, which gives a tree this. 24 hours, seven day a week growth. And it's not only that, it's the nutrients that it brings deep up from the root system. Because the deep roots bring up minerals and elements. And, and when it rains, all the nutrients and all the water, all the water, the, the groundwater around it goes into it and goes down into the roots. In the tap root is very deep. But these trees have got very broad, wide roots, which are, which are fairly shallow. And that when you've got moisture from these vertebra grass here, insulated from the sun, they don't compete. They're not fighting for nutrients or moisture because these roots of the vertebra is vertebra, vertebra. They go straight down. They don't go sideways. They're not in them. They're not combi- They're not um, competing or mixing with the roots of a moringa tree or palm oil tree. Is two meters wide. So they, they've got a tap root that might go down three metres, two metres, five metres to subject. But the vertebra goes straight down, up to even 10 and 12 metres deep. Every year they grow about a metre. That's a rule of thumb. They can grow a lot more th- than one metre in one year. It's subject to the fertilising and the nutrients in the soil. Uh, we've got them three years old now and we've dug uh, and we've given up around about the four metre mark, the five metre. So they could go six to eight metres straight down. No side roots, no fanning out. They just straight down. So there's no um, taxing or draining from uh, uh, nutrients and fertilizer and moisture. In fact, it's the opposite. They bring moisture. If flood, they bring oxygen and they help the drain out, like I mentioned earlier. It's a very important point that I'm going to highlight in this video because this is a symbiotic partnership and this is a classic example of these vertebra growing along this fence here. And that all of those are supporting these massive, do you see the big one on the right-hand side? Um, the huge mega tree, which is about three-year-old, only just three, but it's apps and there's one right down the end of that pathway down there. There's another very tall one down there. Okay, so th- due to the complementary, the, 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 the partnership, the, 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 the um, the, the, the combination of all those benefits, this is the, like, it's a fertilizer factory. It's a moisture. It's an insurance policy. They, these big ones you're looking at now, that just shows you how big they can grow. And you can trim them every month, every three months, every quarter, every four months. You can trim them. Okay, and that trimming is the ultimate mulch. These trees were mulched in the very beginning. Now, this video now, I think we're going to go into the larger tree. Look how tall that one is. Now, I don't know how tall that is, but we're talking about, um, uh, that's the smaller one. The one is behind the other tree. That's a fruit tree. You know, when you put this this vertebra under fruit trees, talk about, uh, here's the big one. Look at this giant. This is a young tree, but have a look how tall it is. I guess it's 60, 70 metres plus. Look at the house. It's a very tall house. Okay, you can see by the the thickness of the um the the, the trunk and the knuckles and the and the oldness of the due to the massive amount of moisture the control the, the the soil everything's involved with the soil and the micro living soil and the pH adjustment this brings pH because it brings microbes 
and, and the microbes and it feeds the microbe because it brings moisture and water deep, deep down. And when it's flowing through catchment water, then all the nutrients and all the different materials get washed in. So that's more food for the worms and for the microbes. So this is really nature. This is what you truly call complementary planting. It's called symbiotic. There's a partnership and a relationship with the soil, the vertebrate grass and the trees. Now, this is a great video. It's a very powerful one because we're dealing with a very valuable tree that needs to be expanded and, 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 and grown, and it is grown globally. You know, there's organization, World Health Organization, and, and, and multiple uh, world banks have done incredible, amazing things with this Moringa tree and, and feeding uh, the children and feeding animals and stock. It's a food security. It's a superfood. So, but to have that key for droughts and floods and, and, this, and when you grow this tree in sand and clay, it doesn't grow as efficient than some are higher, um, uh, higher quality um, soil conditions. It can grow in very difficult situations, but it's affected by weather and affected by soil conditions, especially to prolifically, uh, as you cut it, it shoots back real fast. If the soil is not good, the tree doesn't bring fruit. The fruit of it is there, is the, the pod, so valuable, the actual um, pod, um, the drumstick, the fruit. But it's the fruit of the tree is its leaf, it's the powerhouse, it's the leaf. So to have this insulation and have this natural security, security policy, that the Vertifer Technology secu Insurance Policy, God's insurance policy, it's nature. And don't forget, I said about the mulching. When we harvest and cut these back, we just put one, one foot, three foot of mulch around these trees, and that lasts for months. The leaf takes a long time to break down, it's a, and it's the highest protein than any other. Actually, this is the biomass um, miracle grass for food security and for complementary planting and the synergy planting in all cash crops. And this is for all stock feed. It's the ultimate animal stock feed. And what we've done, we're specialists in having very large volumes in plantations and very deep root systems. And we use our super SOS organic fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. Which is, a, a, is, which is all worm-related, vermi technology, vermi compost, vermi composting, um, we're vermiculturists. So this is a very powerful and a very, um, what you call, um, well, the working as a, as, as a synergy, as a complementary plant, it's 20 times more powerful than any other plant because you can harvest the leaves every month every four weeks every five weeks and they just keep growing back on the average about one foot two foot every single uh, month we've got them growing two foot in one month because if the roots are going down many meters deep then they shoot the leaves up very fast so you, you still got the symbiotic re relationship because the roots are the key to the moisture control from floods and droughts and you can leave them so they're a 12 foot actually the, 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 those moringa trees, they had 22 feet, 22 feet, 18 feet, uh, uh, 12 feet, 15 feet high um, vertebra underneath them. We used a tree to tie up. There's a lot of videos. You can see um, people six foot with their hands up and they're still because they're 22, 24 foot high. Now, you can leave it like that because that's a powerful um, energy that's going back into the, the root system, but when you harvest them and cut them like we've got here, it's like a fast track and there's all that leaf mulch which has becomes the most powerful um, uh, mulch which is a complete fertilizer. When you've got these deep rooted plants, especially with the Moringa, there's something, that, that there's a power between both of them. See, God made a miracle tree and miracle, miracle grass. And we know that the mulch from the vertebrae, there's some power generated from the from the moringa and all the little leaves that fall off it they're all powerful they're like you know a moringa leaf has got so much nutrients in it and so many antioxidants and so much protein even that showering 
of the leaves from the moringa tree. And they're so huge. It's, it's like supercharging. It's like raining fertilizer. And once again, when they all get washed down into the subsoil with the root system, it is absolutely mind-blowing. So it's like a complementary fertilizing each other, helping each other. So this is a super tree we're talking about, but it's the same principle as the cash manufacturing of, of palm oil. The palm oil tree is commercial, it's driven by chemical, it's, it's got all the problems of non-sustainability and expensive. This is the solution to stop chemical. We've already got massive projects which are proven that with the combination of the vertiva technology or the symbiotic partnership with the fertilizer, organic, non-chemical, it's not a compound, it's an actual real pure organic fertilizer. The combination of both can sustain the tree for standard production at FFB, full fruit bunch. And when it comes to extreme weather, that's when the true miracle comes about because you haven't got the tree stressed. There's not a recovery period of one month, six months, 12 months, all depends the recovery. Look at the biomass of leaf. Look how beautiful that is. You could harvest that again every two months and put all that mulch on it and it will not affect the, the, the roots, won't affect anything more than you're producing free fertilizer, free mulch. Okay, we take all inquiries. We are global. These farms and this project is in southern Malaysia. Uh, same principle, doesn't matter where we are in the world. We offer a full comprehensive, we're engineer. We got, we're passionate what we do and we'd be very generous with our clients.